Good morning, Spanish River. These are your Thursday, May 13th morning announcements. Now to the Pledge and Desk with Danny and Jenna. Please stand for the pledge. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Please be seated. Good morning, Spanish River. Today is Thursday, May 13th. I'm Jenna. And I'm Danny. And before we get started, here's Ms. Castellano. Hi, Sharks. It's Ms. Castellano here coming to you on the announcements, checking in with everyone. I do want to take a moment to congratulate again our girls' tennis team and Coach Jones and Coach Heinrichs for an amazing season. Congratulations to the girls. I'd also like to congratulate Coach Horn and our track athletes that went all the way to the state tournament. Nick, Moises, and Zoe, congratulations for your great accomplishments this season and all of your efforts. I do want to remind you students to please make sure that you're checking your emails. I send you very, very important information and a lot of times I even include you on our weekly call out. So the other night I sent you information that moving forward for AP, ACE, EOCs, if you must bring your phone with you, you are to come with it in a Ziploc baggie with a piece of paper or index card or a piece of tape that designates it as yours. That, that cuts down a lot of time for us to have to do all of that in the different rooms and especially when we're in large settings like the gym or the media center, it allows us to get started testing on time and get you guys out sooner than later. So hopefully our 10th graders did the best they could this morning on the first day of their FSA and we know that you'll continue to knock it out of the park tomorrow because this test is a very, very important graduation requirement for you. It also enables you not to have to be placed into intensive reading next year once we get those test scores back. So we are already putting in the master schedule for next year. So your course requests should be on SIS. You should have verified them. If there's anything wrong, if the elective order is wrong, please reach out to your counselor as soon as possible so that we can fix those things because we base our master schedule off of your course request. So of course, every summer we go in and we make changes. We move students around, students that do very well on their test. We move into more challenging classes um, because we want you to reach your highest potential while you're here at school. So very, very important time for our juniors as you're getting ready to apply for college. So we will not have any SAT or ACT testing here over the summer due to the construction because we can't guarantee you a smooth testing session because there is a lot of work that they need to come in and do and they will start working on the student parking lot about a week down by the football field before we get out of school. So there's a lot of improvements still to come here at Spanish River. Uh, you guys have done the best you can to make it a great year but I want you to continue working because there are some of you that are going to be getting letters in the next few weeks about our summer program. Those of you that are juniors, sophomores, even freshmen, if you're not on track to graduate and you failed classes this year, Spanish River will be running a summer program to help get you back on track. I don't really think any of our seniors are gonna need to be here because we've just met with them and I know they're working hard to make sure that 100% of them walk across the stage. Don't forget, seniors, that that extra ticket request comes out on Friday, May 21st at 6 p.m. It's first come, first serve. There is no guarantee, but all of your entrances will be time stamped. So if you need an extra pair of tickets for graduation, please set a Google Calendar reminder. And remember, as I told you today in the meeting, let your moms, grandmoms, everyone, guardians know that only clear bags are allowed in at graduation. So that's the way colleges do it for their graduations and for football games. So please make sure you notify your family members so they're not surprised when they get to graduation. Finally, this is a reminder for students that there will be no school for students on that day, Tuesday, June 15th. 
as all of us will be up at the fairgrounds preparing to honor our awesome class of 2021. Have a great day, Sharks. Attention any student coming onto campus for testing. Please make sure you arrive with your phone already in a baggie with an index card with your name visibly on it before you arrive at your testing center. Listen up Psychology Honor Society members. If you're going to be a junior or a senior next year and are interested in becoming an officer, please fill out an officer application located in the PHS virtual classroom. This will look great on a college resume. The application deadline is Friday, May 21st by 3 p.m. And now to Coach Mac. Hey, good morning, Spanish River. I hope everybody's having a good week. Everybody is taking all these tests. I hope you're doing well. I hope you're comfortable and you're prepared. I know your teachers have worked hard. I'm sure you've worked even harder. So good luck going forward with all your tests. Talking about working hard and success, we had the boys and girls team went to the track state championship last weekend in Jacksonville. I'm happy to announce the following great success. Sophomore Nicholas West, in the boys' 300 hurdles, he finished fourth in the state. He was the number one ranked sophomore in Florida and the number sixth ranked sophomore in the United States. So congratulations in that event. He also did very well in the boys' 110 hurdles. He finished 11th in the state. So as a sophomore, he had an exceptional year. We congratulate Nicholas and obviously Coach Babb for the job well done. Senior Moises Medina, in the boys' 3,200 meter race, he finished eighth in the state and set the school record. So congratulations to Moises as well. Junior Zoe Postolnik in the girls' 3,200, she set her personal record at 11 minutes 20 seconds and four, 11 minutes 20.44 seconds. Uh, she finished 14th in the state, but again going forward, she set a personal record. So congratulations to Zoe in that. And finally, the boys' 4x800 relay, they finished 11th in the state in 8 minutes and 6 seconds. So congratulations to them. Girls' softball made it to the regionals. Unfortunately, they came up short. They lost in the last inning in the regional semifinals to Palm Beach Gardens. But congratulations to Coach Bird and all the girls and the job well done this year. I'm looking forward to Senior Saturday on the 22nd. If you haven't already signed up, please do. We're planning a great day for you guys. And during the course of that day, we're going to recognize all our senior athletes who have committed to go on to the next level. So you guys always do a great job. I know you have. Please continue to work hard, do your best, wear your badge, wear your badge practice social distancing, and of course, get out and recreate over the weekend. The deadline for French Honor Society dues has been extended to Thursday, May 20th. Seniors, don't wait. Court order going in the ASAP. Seniors, if you have not completed your online requirement for graduation, get it done now. You are jeopardizing your graduation. Contact your guidance counselor if you have any questions. On that note, here's a peek at what you have to look forward to at the carnival. Don't forget to come in your crowns, college gear, and masks. Hey, you. Are you a senior? Make sure you come out on May 22nd to the Senior Saturday Carnival. There's going to be free Chick-fil-A, free Kona Ice, and so many prizes and giveaways. It's going to be a blast. And if you didn't sign up to go, make sure you email kia.allen at palmbeachschools.org to let her know that you're coming. That's all for today, Robert. Thanks for watching. Catch us next time with some more news.